हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सविता पवार वेलकम टू माय चैनल गेट द मैथ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ एमसीक्यूज ऑफ लेसन टू बैंकिंग बिफोर सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यू यू मस्ट नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बैंकिंग एंड आल्सो द फॉर्मूलास व्हिच विल बी यूज टू सॉल्व द सम्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज अ बैंक अ बैंक इज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट मेनली एक्सेप्ट डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम द पब्लिक एंड आल्सो लेंड्स मनी सो दैट इज अ बैंक functions of bank are it accepts deposits from the public bank uses the deposit for lending to others and undertaking investment bank has the power to create and destroy money through their lending activities it facilitates payment through checks bank help in transfer of funds it provides various type of functions for the customer like locker facilities to Uh, save the safeguard the jewelry and etc so these are the functions of a bank now there are different type of bank accounts first one is the savings bank account then current bank account fixed deposit account and the fourth one is the recurring deposit um, account okay in your syllabus you are going to study the fourth one that is the recurring deposit account recurring deposit account is also called as the cumulative deposit account it is a time deposit scheme in banks to boost the savings among the people of small and medium income groups and under this system an investor deposits a certain fixed amount in the multiples of 5 every month for a specified period calculated in months a fixed rate of interest is provided by the bank on the interest on on the maturity of the stipulated time the investor gets all his deposited money along with a certain amount of interest added to the original money this interest is calculated with a formula given as now suppose p rupees per month is deposited each month by an investor for n months at 8% at r% percent per annum so principal for one month will be p multiplied by the number of months okay now this is in series these are the natural numbers in series so we can write it as n into n plus 1 by 2 okay so the interest is calculated as simple interest so we know the formula for simple interest as i equal to pnr upon 100 now in place of n you have to substitute this value n n plus 1 and since uh, upon 2 and since it is in months the n is calculated in months here it is for in months here so it should be divided by 12 so the formula becomes p n n plus 1 into r upon 2 into 12 into 100 so this is the formula to find the interest of recurring deposit account then the amount at the end of the time period is called as a maturity amount or the maturity value it is mv it is calculated by the formula p into n plus i that is the interest okay so these are some of the formulas and these are the only two formula that we are going to use in this exercise now let us start with the mcqs first one here is mr ramesh deposits rupees 250 per month for one year in a bank recurring deposit account at the rate of 8% per annum then the interest earned by him is you have to find the interest here so the deposit per month p is the amount is 250 period n is 1 year equal to 12 months rate r is 8% so interest you have to find write the formula of the interest and substitute all the values here and you get the interest here as 130 okay so in this case option 3 is the correct option Mrs Sangeeta deposited rupees 500 every month in a cumulative deposit account now here it is written cumulative deposit account so it means it is recurring deposit account for 2 years at the rate of 7% per annum then the amount she gets on maturity so here you have to find the maturity value okay so p is given as 500 per month n is 2 years you have to convert it into months so 24 months and r is 7% per annum so maturity value is pn plus i that is the formula so but i means what pn n plus 1 into r upon 2 into 12 into 
now take out p n common and this is will be this will be 1 plus n plus 1 r upon 2 into 12 into 100 now substitute the all the values here and take the lcm and solve it so this will be 12000 1 plus this will be 7 upon 96 and take the lcm here again so you get the answer as maturity value answer is uh, 12875 rupees so from this option 4 here 12875 is the correct option Question 3 here is, all calculations in the recurring deposit account are based on simple interest, compound interest, both option 1 and 2 and time. So, actually in your syllabus it is given as simple interest. So, we will be taking this, but actually in the bank they are considering both the options that is simple interest as well as compound interest, but here we will take simple interest. Recurring time deposit schemes are available in, so these recurring time deposit schemes are available in banks, post office, both banks and post office or none. So it is available in both banks and post office. Formula for calculating interest in recurring deposit account is, so just now we have seen above, formula is to calculate the interest, the formula is P n n plus 1 r upon 2 into 12 into 100. So, option 2 here is the correct option. Question 6, Mr. R. K. Nair gets rupees 6455 at the end of one year at the rate of 14% per annum in a recurring deposit account, find the monthly installment. So, monthly installment means P you have to find. So, this is P and time is given as one year. So, N is one year convert into months. Now, M V equal to P N plus I. Substitute all the values, you have to find P here, write the formula for I also, okay. Now you have to find P, take the LCM and solve it and cross multiply. So you get the value of P as 500 rupees. So option 2 in this case is the correct option. So such questions can also be asked. In calculations of recurring deposit account, time is always taken in months. We have seen above it. Formula of maturity value is, this is Pn plus I, this is the formula. Recurring deposit account is also known as dash account, fixed savings, cumulative or current. So option 3 that is cumulative deposit account is the correct option. Question 10 here is, in a recurring deposit account if P that is deposit per month is rupees 600. Maturity value is rupees 15,450 and rate of interest is 7% per annum. Then the time in the years, you have to find the time in this case for which the account is to be held is, so P 600 rupees per month, R is 7%, maturity value is 15,450. Let us consider time as N months. So write the formula for maturity value, P N plus I. So this is the value of maturity value in rupees. This is P is 600 and we don't know and this is the formula for I and substitute all the values of the variables in I here. You want to find N, okay. So this becomes your quadratic equation now. That is 7N square plus 2407N minus 61800 equal to 0. Now solve this quadratic equation and you get the value of N here as n is 24 and n is minus 2575 by 7 but time we are finding n means time so time cannot be negative so you have to eliminate this and consider this n equal to 24 so period equal to 24 months and convert the months into year that is 2 years as it is given in years in the option so option 2 here that is 2 years is the correct option. So this was all about your banking exercise, MCQs. Uh, if you have any query, drop it in the comment box. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Get the math.